So we've, got a, we've been asked to calculate the area of a triangle and you'll notice that we have two right angled triangles so that means we're allowed to use Socartoa and we're also allowed to use Pythagoras and in fact for this particular question I've been given a hypotenuse and one of the legs of a right angled triangle so I think I can use Pythagoras which is a squared plus b squared equals h squared that's a squared plus b squared equals the hypotenuse squared to work out the length of the third side. So I'll need to do 7.5 squared, take away 6 squared, and that's going to equal that little x squared. And don't forget to square out your answer when you've done that. OK, and so we can see the length is 9 over 2, otherwise known as 4.5. So, now that we've got half the base, um, we've actually finished because the, the formula for the area of the triangle is half times by the whole base times by the height, but the perpendicular height of course. So in actual fact we've already got half the base, so we can just do 4.5 times by 6 and that's the answer. I think that comes to 27. But of course, in an exam, you would definitely check when you're calculating. Make sure you don't do that in your head. Make sure you've got that right. Um, so, half times by the base times by the height does indeed equal 27. And that's our answer. Now, if you look at the uh, mark scheme, you'll see that uh, although the majority of students got this right, there are some a couple of errors in there, which I think you should pause and read. If you got that wrong as well, that's another thing you would like to read this to sort of avoid these kinds of mistakes in the future. And here's the mark scheme, and you can see these are all M marks, so you have to show a method. You can't just write the answer at the end, because that would get you no marks at all.